The Dallas Cowboys have parted ways with offensive coordinator Kellen Moore, and it appears Mike McCarthy is one of the guys that could take over the play calling duties for the Cowboys. Now, Kellen Moore does have meetings lined up with the San Diego or for the Los Angeles Chargers to take over that same role on their team. Uh, there is other interest out there around the league, but Kellen Moore has been one of the best offensive minds over the last four years. Three times the Cowboys have had a top 10 op uh, offense in the last four years, and that's with a mediocre starting quarterback in Jack Prescott. Imagine the things that he could do with the L.A. Chargers with a guy like uh, Justin Herbert. Now for the Cowboys, Mike McCarthy uh, kind of came to fame anyway with the Green Bay Packers, with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback. Uh, he is familiar with calling plays, etc. I wonder how uh, that's going to work with Dallas. I think he will ultimately get the job as far as being the play caller in Dallas. But the question remains about the late clock situations, how he's able to handle those, because that's been the one issue for the Cowboys so far in the postseason. They've had questions about his ability to manage the clock, cut, dial up the right situations for his team, penalties, etc. Are those things going to continue to be even bigger problems with him taking over play calling duties? Or is he going to pawn that off on one of his assistants and let them take over those specific job duties and allow him to focus solely on play calling. Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, I'm sure is going to have a big hand in whoever decides to, or whoever he decides to call plays for the Cowboys, but uh, McCarthy seems to be the guy that's going to get the job. Now, what does this mean for them going forward? Defensively, they're going to keep Dan Quinn. He is going to be back for another season. He decided not to go out and leave the team. He seemed to be one of the top contenders for both the Broncos job and the Cardinals. Seems like those jobs might go to other play, or other guys like D'Amico Ryans or Sean Payton, but uh, Dan Quinn beloved in Dallas by both Jerry Jones and all of the fan base alike. Uh, Micah Parsons is one of the best defensive players to ever uh, suit up in the NFL, and uh, another season with him as the defensive coordinator, allowing Micah Parsons to continue to grow, possibly winning defensive player of the year this year uh, that just finished up, or maybe even next year, I think is very likely for Micah Parsons. So let us know in the comment section what you think of Kellen Moore leaving the Dallas Cowboys. What does this mean for the quarterback position? We've seen already this offseason Aaron Rodgers rumors circulating about him possibly being traded to the AFC. That, to me, would make sense. I don't think there's a realistic opportunity for the Dallas Cowboys to jump in there and get Aaron Rodgers. The you know Green Bay Packers, even if they decided to trade him, which is still an if, by the way, I think the AFC is the only way they would do it. It sounds like the uh, New York Jets would be the team that he might go to. They've already hired Nathaniel Hackett as the offensive coordinator there. As far as the quarterback position in Dallas, though, Dak Prescott... He is a mediocre, uh, mediocre quarterback. He's a great guy. Um, I don't know what else to say about him other than just he's a good leader, but he's not exactly the guy that you want, you know, in your foxhole with you as you try to push down the field with two minutes under the gun to try to win it in the fourth quarter. I think he's capable of doing it, sure, but is the, he the guy that you would say, hey, I'd choose him over Justin Herbert? No. Patrick Mahomes? No. Uh, Joe Burrow, no. Josh Allen, no. Jalen Hurts, no. Uh, Tom Brady, even at his advanced age, no. There's a conversation to even be had about Jimmy Garoppolo. That tells you how far Dak Prescott has really fallen in the last year or so. Uh, he's really kind of taken a step back after his injury. And uh, what was once a very high-flying Dallas Cowboys offense, uh, Dak Prescott was the leader of that offense at the time. Uh, most yards, most points, highest total offense anyway in the NFL a few years ago. Uh, just really hasn't been that way, and that's why Kellen Moore is no longer there, whether that be regression on Dak Prescott, whether that be offensive line being hurt, whether that be you know just regression as a team overall offensively, uh, just remains to be seen. But I think there is an opportunity for improvement at the quarterback spot in Dallas. The question is, is there somebody out there that could come in and replace Dak Prescott? If you decided to move Dak Prescott, say trade him as a post-June 1st trade, something like that after the draft, that's probably the best way to go from a financial standpoint. Otherwise, the, the money, the, just the pure money that would be lost due to a dead cap uh, would be absorb, uh, you know, astronomical anyway for uh, the Dallas Cowboys to be able to take on. So if you're going to go that route, maybe a post-draft trade that sends Dak Prescott to a team that needs a quarterback. Say the Jets are unable to find anybody in free agency, Garoppolo goes elsewhere, Rodgers doesn't get moved, Carr goes elsewhere and they're still stuck there without a quarterback, then maybe they circle back to you in Dallas and say, hey, we'll give you a second round pick for Dak Prescott. If the Dallas Cowboys have already signed a guy like Tom Brady or a Jimmy Garoppolo to be their quarterback, that would be the situation there. But I don't think that's very likely. Reason being is because, again, the dead money. You're not exactly going to find a team willing to take him on 
with that cap number, at least right now, especially when you consider the leverage that they would have in negotiating with the Dallas Cowboys for a guy like Dak Prescott. Now, would the other team love to have a, you know the leadership abilities of a Dak Prescott at their quarterback spot? Uh, I believe they would. Now, is he the best option? Obviously not. That's why the Dallas Cowboys are looking to improve. Uh, do I think there's an option out there that is readily available and could or make them or could move the needle a little bit? I believe that, you know, I'm not saying this will happen, but a guy like Tom Brady, for instance, only made, what, $25 million last year for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Just the legacy he has, maybe he's able to get on the same page with Jerry Jones and say, hey, let's go ahead and get this, you know, get this ring back in Dallas anyway, get all those hecklers that are naysayers of Dallas off their back and off of Brady and just go ahead and win one more. Uh, that would be a very convincing argument to say, hey, I've did it. I've done it with both the Patriots and Buccaneers, and now I've gone and won it with America's team, a uh, team that wasn't able to win it, wasn't able to even get back to the NFC Championship game in over 30 years now. And uh, that would be quite the narrative there. But uh, let us know in the comments section what you think about the Dallas Cowboys deciding to move on from Kellen Moore and about what their uh, the future holds for Dak Prescott. I still think he'll be the quarterback come training camp for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think there's any realistic opportunity for them to improve. You know, a guy out there like Tom Brady is a little bit of an improvement. He's no longer the Tom Brady of old, but I think the ability for him to diagnose defenses, uh, be able to read the defense a little bit better, and avoid the big mistake, unlike Dak Prescott, uh, would be a, certainly an improvement for the Dallas Cowboys. Does Do uh, Tom Brady still make mistakes nowadays as he's starting to get older due to those physical limitations, due to the you know off-the-field issues that he had last year with Tampa Bay? Uh, yes, absolutely. But I think another year removed from those off-the-field issues, he could be a guy of interest to the Dallas Cowboys if they decide that Dak Prescott is no longer the answer for them at quarterback. But again... Still not even a 1% chance of that happening. I still expect Dak Prescott under center. Just from a pure financial standpoint, it's just too soon to make that type of investment in free agency. Then you're really behind the eight ball as far as a trade if you try to trade him after June 1st anyway. Uh, your free agency is really going to be limited if you decide to trade Dak because you're going to have a huge dead cap number. Plus you have to pay Brady or whoever else you decide to bring in. It just doesn't seem tenable for them to improve the quarterback position. It seems like they're going to have to stick with it. They could waive Zeke, but that only saves them $5 million. In my opinion, I'd hold on to Zeke for the $5 million in savings anyway. Uh, Tony Pollard just broke his leg anyway. He is not going to be the same running back next year, I believe. You're going to have to wonder about him going forward. There was, thought, or, or there was some talk anyway about him being franchise tagged. Obviously, that's not going to happen now. The free agent class this year is pretty good, so there should be some opportunities for improvement in free agency for Dallas. But the question is still between the ears for Dak Prescott. Can he get his head uh, screwed on right? Is he going to be able to avoid the big turnover? Uh, whoever decides to take over the play calling duties, whether it be you know Mike McCarthy or another offensive mind that comes in, what is the role going to be of that offense? Are they going to continue to try to be a run-first team uh, like they've tried to be over the last year and a half now as they try to scale back their high-flying offense that they had with Amari Cooper? Or are they going to try to get back their run-and-gun ways, past first team? Uh, or are they going to go with something completely different that we haven't seen? Dak Prescott hasn't exactly been the most mobile quarterback over the last year and a half after his injury, but uh, maybe you know getting back to some of that should help improve that offense. Uh, maybe institute some of the things that Philadelphia does with Jalen Hurts to try to make their run game a little bit more dynamic. Something like that would be very interesting in Dallas. But let us know what you guys think in the comments section about Kellen Moore being out as offensive coordinator, him uh, applying anyway with the LA Chargers, him possibly teaming up with Justin Herbert, what that could mean, and then of course what Mike McCarthy as play caller for the Cowboys would mean. But uh, thank you guys for joining us here at The Upside. Hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and uh, at The Upside Sports Network. You can check out our Facebook page by the same name and on Twitter at UpsideSN.